Well, some hot grilling weather in the forecast as we go through the next several days. Look at that temperature in the lower right hand corner of your screen here in Fargo, 91 degrees and check out the traffic looking across the Red River into Minnesota. It is heavy on that side as we head into our evening. So hot and muggy tonight. Let's get right to your hour by hour forecast on first alert weather day for tomorrow. Here's what you need to know as we head into the next 24 hours. First and foremost, tonight just will remain hot. Even by the time we get to the 10 o'clock hour, we're still in the 80s for many of our southern locations and a little cooler. So hot, humid, both of those things factors in storm risk as we go through the next 24 hours, so a sticky evening. Morning temperatures will generally be near 70 in the south and 60s elsewhere. A few spotty showers drifting out of Montana into central parts of North Dakota for us dry and fairly quiet. So a warm start to your day. We'll have scattered showers in the South Dakota area as we go into the midday hour. Temperatures already rising to near 90 degrees here in the Southern Valley, Grand Forks included, Howlock included. Now it's that heat and the moisture, that stickiness in the air that will fuel thunderstorms, but they may not form. Notice I have that word if storms form. Our hot air at the surface is capped by hot air above. So a rising bubble of air, think of a hot air balloon, won't rise if the air above it is hot. It just is happy to stay where it's at. But if we heat it up enough on the ground, we could bust through that cap in the atmosphere. If storms form, all modes of severe weather will be possible. The best chance will be after two through the dinner hour here in the southern part of the valley. Up north, the risk of severe at this point appears to be much lower. So strong to severe storms south of Highway 2 into South Dakota as we go through the early evening, drifting across the Red River into Minnesota late at night and south. Could be some strong storms though up north. We'll have updates for you. Have your Valley News Live weather app handy as temperatures cool from those 90s where we'll be very hot down into the 80s with some thunderstorms that if they form again could have very large hail with all the heat and humidity in the atmosphere over two inches in diameter. They could also have gusty straight line winds and a risk for tornadoes entirely possible and it could be a strong one as well down in the yellow area here which is a level one out of a five level scale of severe weather is where that risk is the greatest and we'll be keeping our eyes on it for you. Have your Valley News Live weather app handy. All right, now let's take a look at what we have going on tonight. Showers and thunderstorms across Minnesota. Most of the, the lower 48 pretty quiet tonight. A few of the Ohio River Valley thunderstorms have become severe. Hot in Texas, hot in the Vegas area, and hot in Montana where Billings is kissing 100 degrees, but we're not far from that here in Fargo, 93 Aberdeen. So we definitely have heat. It is a little cooler in northern Minnesota, but as we showed you in the hour by hour forecast, all of us will be very hot right now out at Hector. Your temperature 91, a three mile per hour light breeze, making it feel very hot. Look at that dew point. 67 is very muggy. It's akin to the air you would notice down in the Gulf of Mexico. Morning temperatures near 70. We're going to hit 93 in the afternoon. Chance of thunderstorms increase late afternoon and into the dinner hour. After about 9 to 10 o'clock at night, your chance of storms should end. Best chance at 90s up and down the Red River Valley with a few storms that could be strong to severe. We'll keep you apprised right here on the Valley News Live weather app. Planning forecast. Another first alert weather day on Wednesday. Triple digit heat not out of the question, so we'll challenge records 90s Thursday and a little bit cooler and more refreshing for the upcoming weekend and beyond, but still at or above average, Stacy. All right, here we go. Yes, it's going to get hot. Thanks, it Hutch. Is. RSV season is right around the corner, and this year families will have another tool to fight the virus. Those details are next.